right, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. It's hump day. We're heading towards the weekend, guys. Before we get started with the video, do me a favor. Take the biggest, heaviest thing that will do the most damage and just smash the living bejesus out of that subscribe button. And then, boop, the notification bell. Just a light, boop, just light, boop. So you get notified if I do any more live streams or, you know, if I release a new video or whatever. And when we're done, go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com. Plecos and guppies and t-shirts and a promo code which I made kind of difficult for me to remember for some reason so I'm gonna cheat and look at it promo code a e n j 2018 that's aquatic experience New Jersey a e n j 2018 for 20% off your entire purchase that's right 20% the entire thing good until October 13th. <clears throat> also, fishy folks, uh, because of my business travel uh, for Annie, Annie, haha, <laughs> for the aquatic experience and also for uh, uh, my work, you know, I go to Japan, uh, shipping is going to cease on October 15th. F October 15th will be the last day I'm going to ship and then I won't start shipping again until November 5th. So if you want to place an order, go ahead and do it. Uh, and I'll ship it out before I go uh, away for the aquatic experience in Japan. And if for some reason that doesn't work for you, just let me know. You can order, use the discount code, and uh, I'll just hold it until I get back from Japan. All right, fishy folks, that's enough about michaelsfishroom.com, which, by the way, you should check out if you haven't already. Today, I want to talk about a new fish food. It's not really new. I sort of talked about it once before, but not in detail. New Life Spectrum. Algae Max wafers. There you go. Now, full disclosure as always, Lisa from Super Cichlid sent me this jar for free to try because she knows I've been uh, really into plecos. You guys know we're, we're pretty good friends, Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlid and, and me. Um, love those guys. They're, they're super nice. They really take care of their customers and uh, all, if you buy fish from Michael's Fish Room, I provide sample fish food. It all comes from them. They donate it to me, um, and I give it to you guys, and hopefully you like it and you buy from them. And that's that's just a good business practice to make, you know, to have good friends that you can trust with similar business principles as you do. So anyway, uh, check out supercyclists.com. Use promo code SHIP for free for free shipping. I don't know why that's not focusing, but you you know what I'm saying. Anyway, these Algae Max wafers, herbivore diet, water stable, which means they're not gonna just break apart in the water. But here's the thing with Algae Max, is algae is the first ingredient. The last time I talked about, that, about this, I was gonna show you what the Hikari Algae wafers were, and uh, I didn't have any because I forgot I don't use them. And everyone that used them commented in the uh, uh, comment section, uh, and they were like, algae's not even like in the first five ingredients. So, in this particular uh, no hormone additive algae max from New Life Spectrum pellet, um, it's a big pellet. Would you call it a paper pellet? I would call it a wafer, not a paper like I just said, a wafer. Anyway, this wafer, the first ingredient is algae, and then uh, something I can't pronounce, chlorella. Sounds like a STD. Uh, and then seaweed, and then red seaweed, and then kelp, and then spirulina, and then some more seaweed, and then krill. I mean, you're talking the first five or six ingredients are all real high quality stuff that I'm pretty sure plecos are just gonna devour. Now, um, I, I really like the other thing Lisa gave me, stand by. Actually, I lied, Lisa didn't give it to me. The cobalt guy gave it to me. Uh, this cobalt ultra pellet shrimp and veggie, the plecos go crazy for it. You know, so you know who else goes crazy for it? Uh, the Oscars really like it, and uh, my angels upstairs like it. Of course, the Corys like it, but they like everything. Um, but today, like I said, we're going to talk about this Algae Max. <clears throat> the cool thing about this Algae Max is it sticks to the glass. You've seen me do videos about Sarah Onip tabs, which I'll put a link somewhere up here. For the Sarah O'Nip tab, um, the thing with Sarah Foods, in my opinion, and I'm by by no means am I a food expert. I just go by what my fishies like, and how they act, and how they grow and color up. Sarah's a little overpriced for what it is. Um, 
I'm sure some of their food is probably really, really high quality. Maybe I just haven't tried it. But even the Sarah Onip tab on the package just says, only serve as a treat. Because they know it's not, you know, it's not high quality like this. It's just, the cool thing about it is it sticks to the glass and the fish can pick at it and then it's awesome. But the same thing happens here with these Algae Max tabs uh, or Algae Max wafers. You can stick them to the glass. You do have to leave them in the water for about five or 10 seconds and then boom, stick them to the glass. So what do you think? Should we feed and see if the plecos really like them? I mean, I know the plecos like them, but I want to show you the plecos like them. So let's do this. Let's grab a quick beverage, ice cold, of course, and a slight snack, just a light snack, because this is going to be quick. You know, it's not going to be a long 30 minute video. At least I don't think it is. So go grab a snack. I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, we're back. I set up the camera so you can see my uh, albino bristle nose pleco breeding tank, which I don't have any babies yet. There's a couple of tiny little fish in there. I just haven't caught them out. There's one that's with a jacked up back, so I'm not going to put him with any other fish that he can uh, mate with. In fact, soon he'll probably be chewy food. But um, So here's what the, the, the wafers look like. Um, they're a little smaller than the uh, Hikari wafers and the um, Northfin wafers. I love the Northfin kelp wafers also, um, but they're a little smaller. So we're gonna drop some in there. Now, you know, plecos are a little shy, so they might take a minute or two to come out. But let me show you how you just take one of these wafers, put it in the water, like so, and you gotta let it get soft. And then you stick it to the side of the glass like that. And uh, they have a tasty little treat. So I'm gonna leave this tank alone. I'm gonna walk away and let the plecos uh, do their thing, all right? I'm gonna actually probably let this go and maybe move it in fast motion when it's done so you can see what's up. Well, fishy folks, you can see this guy has ventured out from his hides. So he's eaten one of the Algae Max wafers. There's one in the back underneath the driftwood. One of the wafers got back there. The wafer that was stuck to glass is gone already. I think it fell off. Um, there was sort of a little, I don't know if you want to call it a, a scuffle, if you will, in the tank. And it fell off, so. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the, uh, another tank with plecos in it. Stand by. So here is the fork fish tank. No, here is a tank with the uh, yellow uh, blue eyes. And you can see them devouring those things in the background. I scared them when I came over. But you can see all those little guys just eating away. Those guys were, just so you know, those guys were born uh, the beginning of August. It's now the beginning of October. August, September. So they're about two months old. See how I did the math in my head? Um, that's what the parents look like. I'm kind of surprised I don't have another batch of fry yet. I thought I would. Uh, there are, are two males and they both were in the caves. In fact, there's one in the cave right now, but hopefully soon we'll have some more babies. But uh, I'm just waiting for these to get a little bigger. Probably when I get back from Japan, I'll put these up on the website. Lemon Blue Eye Plecos. So they sort of look like albinos, but they uh, they have blue eyes instead of red eyes. Um, and they're pretty cool. They're not super rare, but they're not, you know, all that common. Here's a male. You can see the, the bristles hanging off his, his snout, his nose. Um... I dropped these algae max wafers in all the pleco tanks today. So that's what they're eating. I will drop some in the uh, Oscar tank as well because they like them quite a bit. Here's some more albinos down here eating the algae max. Uh, you can see there's one in the corner that they're fighting over. So, all right, fishy folks, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com and supercichlids.com. Hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you guys Friday. Peace. It's New Life Spectrum Aquamax. Aquamax. It's not any of that, is it? So I want to talk about New Life Spectrum Out Spectrum.
uh, for the Sarah O-Link tab. O-Link? You take this, you just kind of put it in the water like that for a second and then, and then that's not it. Let's do this again. <clears throat> Damn, I look good. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a good week so far. It's hump day. We're heading towards the weekend now, folks. So before we get started, as always, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Just take whatever you can find that's heavy and will do damage and smash the living bejesus out of that subscribe button. That's right, smash it! But after you do that, I want you to gently caress the notification bell. Just boop, just a boop, that's it. And when we're done here, that's right, I got a, I got a niche here. It's, it's hot, it's like, 83 degrees in the fish room, 82% humidity. Us fat guys hate this. I'm, I'm gonna start over. Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a good week. It's hump day, heading towards the weekend. I'm pretty excited. But guys, before we get started with the video, do me a favor, take the biggest thing you can find, the heaviest that will do the most damage, and smash the living bejesus out of that subscribe button. And then when you're done, just boop the correct, the hashtag button. 